What up? This is your boy Doughboy and Kev on stage, and this is another right. episode. No, let me do it. Don't take my thing. It's righteous and righteous and righteous and chitty. It's such a like Willy Wonka <laughs> thing. Fun, right? Righteous, and righteous, and righteous and righteous and righteous. I like it. I like it. I ain't gonna hold you. I like it. I like it. What up, man? I feel good. We back in the states. We just got back from tour. Never left the states. We were in the states. It felt like we were in a... Columbia, distant... South Carolina is the States. I just like saying we're back in the States. Oh, though. wait till you go out of the country and say it. Why you always let me have I'm my moments? Saying, <laughs> do it when you come back from Europe. Right. Like, oh, America. But we was flying so much it felt like we was out of the country. No, though. Flying to Asheville, North Carolina <laughs> don't feel like nothing but Asheville. It's not that bad. Agree, you with pick, me, agree with me sometimes. You pick the worst cities to say that. <laughs> Norfolk, Asheville, right. and Columbia. Not that peach cobbler cookie, though. Mm. The Doughboy tried the yak. He didn't try it. Oh, What's that? Come on. It is the worst. The, we should have yeah. tried it. That's an only in That's thing an only that we got to do. Okay. Anyway, all right, cool, cool, cool. we're yeah. all off subject. All right. Sorry, guys. So, yes, this is another installment of Righteous and Ratchet where because, you know, a lot of us are righteous and ratchet. We're all a little bit of both at different times in our lives. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is our podcast. And now we're going to talk about some stuff. And we have a docket. Before we even start, I'm going to throw right, a wrinkle in the plans because I don't want to forget this. Uh-huh. So last episode, bonus episode, which if you are a Right Pack member, mm-hmm. you will get on www.righteousandratchet.com. Uh-huh. We talked about how Hollywood doesn't believe in us. I talked about how an, another agent passed on me. Doughboy talked about how a manager tried to finesse him out of five grand a month. Oh, so yeah. my father, mm-hmm. dad on stage, he, he, and if you don't have access to the bonus episodes, please support us, support the show. $5 a month will get you four episodes more a month. One additional episode a week. And even more, because we've been putting other stuff on there too. And we've been putting more stuff on there. So my dad watched the bonus episode mm-hmm. and he supports. Yes. And my dad bought tickets. So let me mm-hmm. just stop and tell you this. Right. dad my dad buys tickets to the shows. Really? Tony's mom bought tickets to the show. I love that. Please don't ask me for free tickets. Don't do it. If my parents and Tony's parents, mm-hmm. Tahir's mom, bought tickets to the show, if our parents, who we would give free tickets to, my yeah. dad was already on the list. I was like, Dad, why'd you buy tickets? So I put my dad buy. on the list. He ain't even come. But, yeah, but I, I, <laughs> don't do that either. But, but just yes. don't ask me to give you free tickets. Right. Because I never ask for free tickets of my mm-hmm. friends. When they have their show, I buy. When they have merch, I buy. And our parents buy. So no, no. you, please don't. No. So my dad watched the bonus episode because uh-huh. he supports. And then he texts me this, and I got a little emotional. I got a little teary-eyed when you read it to Let me. Let me read you my dad's message to the, to the <clears throat> bonus episode. And you gave them some context of what it's about, right? About no, you getting yeah, rejected I, I by did. an agent. Another agent rejected Passed me. It's like it. the third one. And yeah. that was followed by uh, me not getting cast in like three auditions and not getting a Netflix job. Yeah. My, my dad says this. I saw your video about being an agent. You're wasting time. They're not going to touch you even in your success. Why? Because your success and opportunities are God-ordained and orchestrated. They can't operate nor understand nor are comfortable in that Mm. environment. You're becoming a billionaire. By the way, he skipped over him. Appreciate Mm -hmm. you, Pops. You're becoming a billionaire in an area that they can't grasp. While they would love to take a percentage off of you, they will not do it because they can't market you in their typical way. Mm -hmm. Thus, they will forgo the thought. And it's an insult to God Mm. that he brought you this far and he's not good enough for you anymore. So do you rather cut i'm gonna read this how i read it yeah. so you rather cut some dollar to someone else who can't help you remember how israel begged god for a king because mm. everyone else has one and they wanted one too instead of sticking with god mm. and he gave them saul who was tall and impressive but didn't follow god's heart what so i responded wow dad that's impressive even for you meaning my dad is super encouraging right, all right, the time right. like always comes with the bible stuff to back mm-hmm. up his stuff and i'm like he, he always hits me with stuff, but I was like, that's like right. crazy. That's, the, that's your OG. He give even you the game. Yeah, even yeah. for you, that's right. like you in your back. Right, he right. hit two step back threes. Bah. Then he's going to hit one from 40 foot with right. this. He said, thanks, son. Even for you. Ah, gosh. <laughs> then he goes right back into his back. I love back. your dad. I love man. him. <laughs> good, good man. Dude. Good <laughs> man. You are missing the point of your success. Mm. You are successful to help make others successful. Mm. You are not supposed to be looking for an agent. You are supposed to be an agent to others. Ooh. My God today. You are supposed to help bring good, wholesome talent into a sacred environment that yearns for clean entertainment. You are the trusted agent for God's venues to bring fun and laughter without foolishness. Mm. We've discussed this before, son. He done told you. Kev on stage presents. Woo. There is one guy who controls over 90% of the fireworks worldwide. You're going to be like that for wholesome entertainment, except that you will have integrity. That is just. And I said, Dad, you are the best. 
Can you share your dad with me? Can I can I get him on the weekends? (laughs) He's great. He said, "Bless you, son. Grateful to be available for God's use. Enjoy your day." Jesus, that was a word. Fathers, man. That was a word. Fathers. I'm 35, and I felt like he just tucked me in that night and said, "It's gonna be okay." Kiss you on your forehead. I like that. He he does that (laughs) to this day. I ain't gonna hold you. This is funny. I've seen it. I spent the night at my dad's house (laughs) for Thanksgiving. I ain't gonna hold you, right? (laughs) I have my eyes closed. I'm Uh sleeping on the couch. 34, Uh 35. Matter of fact, this was this past holiday this season. This past one. This past one. Actually, it's for his retirement ceremony. I spent the night. I'm laying on the couch, legs hanging over. I'm like, I thought this couch was bigger. I remembered it differently. <laughs> Uncomfortable, but comfortable. Right, right. Had my legs hanging over. Got the blanket. Mm-hmm. I'm cold my eye, but I didn't sleep. He right. comes down. Good night, son. He thought I was sleep. He kissed me on the forehead. And I was like, thank you, I lock it. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I that's like, good, I, man. I felt like I was five again. Because you always going to be his baby. Man. You going to be 40, 50, whatever. He, he, good night, son. We man, kissed me. He rubbed my little great, head, man. and I was just like. That's what's up, man. What if God was one of us? Right, and, and this is this is something Thanks, that, and this is something that we'll talk, we'll touch on later. But I thought. Oh, by about, the way, before you go, I know I interrupted you. I gotta off. say one more thing, and okay. I know it. I, okay. I own it. That's okay. And no agent can sign me now. Oh, it's done. Now, oh, now I feel it like I'm done. going against God's will. I can't. You gonna do hear, it. you go you gotta remember that text oh. next time nobody tries to. I I can't do it. Like I said in the bonus episode, mm-hmm. they done messed up and they reminded me of my purpose. Now my mm-hmm. dad followed up with the Bible. Oh. Now any agent's gonna be saw. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, but this is what I was saying, and we'll talk about this later more in detail. But I thought about this. After we did that bonus episode and we mm-hmm. talked about that and flushed that out, we ended up going super duper viral after that. I think that was just God's way of saying, y'all right, okay. Do you want to talk and about that this. first before let's, we get let's to the Let's leave with that. Let's just okay, leave with let's that. Just, let's let's just leave with that. Freedoms. So let me tell you oh something. Oh my God. People of the world. Woo. I work very hard. Yeah, yeah, do. To do funny videos. Mm-hmm. Doughboy makes his funny videos. Mm-hmm. Tony makes his funny videos. To hear Cletus, all the people in the video, Jay, we mm-hmm. all work on presenting a con, uh, product for you to enjoy on the internet. Right. Funny, viral. And we content. think about it a lot. We a lot of thought, about it, resources, prepare, everything. We do all of the above. <laughs> so, <laughs> Saturday in the Asheville show, mm-hmm. okay, the show is over. Mm-hmm. We go back to the green room. They have left us a big box of uh, Frito Lays. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the standard issue box mm-hmm. right now. My brother, whom I love, Jay, shout out Jay. Eating Fritos mm-hmm. when every other chip is available. Looking like a whole serial killer. Like, okay. why are you eating Fritos? <laughs> Fritos, everyone knows. In, the worst. In, in, in my house, oh, Fritos yeah. are always last. Absolutely. And by the time you're down to the Fritos, that reminds you, I need a new box. <laughs> not, not eating. That meat. means your gas light just came it's on. I got to pull over. Fritos are the gas light of chips. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're not supposed to eat them. Absolutely. They're there to remind you to get more chips. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> So he's eating the gaslight. <laughs> okay? So we randomly, I, I'm filming it to put it on my Instagram story right. just because this is funny. a funny moment. Right. We rank these chips, mm-hmm. okay? And we all have our different things. Right. Those of us who are civilized, like myself and Doughboy, mm-hmm. we're ranking Doritos one and two. One top and two, two or right. top three at least. Cool Rats number one. Okay, I put barbecue number two. Right. Depends on the mood. Yeah. But Doritos are somewhere in one through Always. three. Always. Right. Tony. Has Fritos number two. I didn't My brother that. had Fritos. I mean, just I don't know. Just weirdo. If they're going to continue. Yeah. Be that as it may, mm-hmm. this doggone video that we put. But before you even said it though, when you even put it up, there was no thought of, dope. yo, we need to promote this, put some AIDS. It was just, I oh, this is a funny moment. You almost probably just put it on your story. I just it threw it up, right? Threw it up. I threw said, man, up. this is kind of funny. That's we crazy. argued about chips. Right. Like, I, ain't po- I hadn't posted a video yet that day. I needed I like, to do something. Let me just throw something up, which is part of what I be telling people. Right. Put a video just up post it. Mm-hmm. So I throw it up, go on about my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this video that we put zero thought into, zero, zero creativity, <laughs> just us talking about, about chips. chip preferences <laughs> goes so viral Stupid on Twitter. Viral. At this point right now, now mind you, this when I been... woke up this morning, mm-hmm. it was at 5 million. 4.8 million. That's when I woke up this morning, okay? And you posted that when when a Saturday on, night. On a Saturday night. Yes. Chris Evans, when I checked it today, Octavia Spencer was replying to Chris Evans. Chris and, Evans of yes, Captain America of fame. Of Captain America f- fame. My god. She's saying, "Chris, your rankings are dumb." Right. And they're talking about it with my 
tweet still at the bottom. I like hello. Captain Shade Mac. Room put it up. Shade Room put it and up and added you and added me. Now that's, a, that's always a thing. They'll they be- have stolen my videos <laughs> plenty of times. Never bother to tag me when I'm being hilarious. Right, well, right. When you try and when be I'm funny. trying to be when your <laughs> face is in the video and your face is in the video, but my fingers in the video. Oh uh-huh, yeah. And that's the one you want to steal. And right. why do and they tag the videos they don't make? Right. <laughs> but so they tagged you in it. They tagged me in it. This mm-hmm. video has currently on Twitter alone. 6.3 million views. That is just... It was the number one trending tri- We have Fritos trending. On Monday. Monica Lewinsky. Who should not be telling anyone what to put in their mouth. <laughs> at all. That's a Trevor Wallace joke. Monica Lewinsky. Right, right. Lewinsky. Right. Jumped in the debate and she didn't follow the rules either. Right, she started she, like, talking about Funyuns. Yeah, ain't nobody dumb. said that and that's your problem. You don't be following the rules. Uh, <laughs> That's hilarious. So, that is hilarious. So I'm, and they're keeping me in the tweet because usually Bruh, people rip the video. Right. Like it literally, they're just quoting my complex, tweet. Complex. Complex. Mashable. Up. All these people are tweeting me. I got like 100, 200 followers. I'm closing on 100,000 on Twitter. 500 followers or, no, I'm sorry, 3,000 followers. On Twitter? On based three, on Twitter. Alone? Based off chip rankings where I wasn't even being funny. But then tell them the really funny part when you added Frito Light. So, <laughs> I hit up Frito. I'm like, like you. hey, big head, <laughs> what up? Uh, we want to take this relationship to the next level. I got you. I got you guys trending. I right got now. y'all. Holla at your boy, number yeah. one. You're welcome. <laughs> so they like hit me back, like, yeah, uh, follow us back so we can DM you. Okay. Right. They hit in my DMs, like, hey, we want, what's your address? We well, want to see you some, some chips. No, listen, oh, you know, we already got the chips. For obviously, you. I got three. We got that. that. Chips are not the problem. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I said I love some product, right. but mm-hmm. but before that, how about this? A partnership. Let's talk about I it. I pitched them three ideas. <laughs> That's why I love oh, you, man. I hit him with that. Can't be in his bag, bro. He was pitched like, oh, hold on. Ideas. Ideas. Bag. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're on tour. Uh-huh. I have children. Mm-hmm. I'm having a birthday party. Maybe they could be All sparking. Right. Maybe y'all can provide the chips. Come and on. We'll, and, and slide a little bread. This Come on, one. man. Just it ain't enough. A little, little bag. It ain't enough. Just so I can wet my beak. Come on. I just want to wet my That's beak. That's all I want to do. Just want to wet my beak. Chips are cheap. I always have Fritos in the house. I have babysit for you. You always Always got them chips in the house. Eat some all. Yeah. I know they. That's no cap. Mm-hmm. There's always. I never touch the Fritos, but they're always there. <laughs> so they respond back because, and, and in the email I said because mm-hmm. I know it's a social media coordinator right, or right. somebody. I right. said, and I know this decision is part of the larger team. Mm-hmm. But if you could just pass this along, I greatly appreciate right, it. Right. They emailed me back. Hey, you know what? Right. Let's we'll t- get back to you. Yes. And in the meantime. Hmm. Kettle chips. Kettle chips hits me up too. Like, hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, 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 get about your boy. Big Kettle. <laughs> your boy Kettle. Your Kettle. Heard you was talking chips. Your boy like, Kettle. <laughs> you, that's how Kettle would talk. Yeah, yo, Kettle. <laughs> your boy Kettle. What's good? You feel me? I know because I'm new on the block. I know who Fritos is. It you could feel be me? whatever. It could be whatever. <laughs> and they're like, yo, if you up for the challenge, DM up. I hit them. Wow. Up. Listen, whoever pays. Whoever got that bag, no pay intended. <laughs> They will get my undying loyalty, right. or at least as long as I'm contractually obligated. Right. Because the jalapeno chips from Kettle Chips. Don't ever think. I put flight. that on sandwiches. I put those chips flight. on sandwiches. And that's just the thing that just, I feel like God be talking to us God. more than we want to give him credit for. Yeah. We were just having a conversation where we were both sad, like, oh, man, Hollywood. Nobody won me. I got like no And then just because of just us being ourselves. Fire and then the, and then the, the the big people that 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 make the decisions came into your DMs. Bro, dope. there's no middleman to that. Agent the middleman is served. dead, agent. Joshua. And there's no way for Fritos to trend. There's mm. no marketing no. campaign right. they could have done for outside that type of, a of free scandal. Pu- to, the fact that she knows what happened to smack a child down the stairs <laughs> to get that type of traction. I mean, just think about it. The fact that a conversation that you started had Captain America tweeting that. Come on, man. Come on, man. The middleman is dead. And that was just. And I slept so good at night. Oh, I slept so good. Let me tell you, because, you know, I haven't been getting the sleep that I need. And I was, I've been on record to talk about this. Mm-hmm. So I was telling everybody last time we talked about it, I was like, yo, I thought my alcoholism was the reason I couldn't sleep. I, I, I. Then I finally came to the conclusion. No, though, boy, you just have a terrible mattress. You so, got, a, ter- you got I, a trash mattress? But now that I have, you know, I've, I've become an entrepreneur, I'm making a little bit more money. I you said, you know what? 
it's time to make that investment in myself. So I went ahead and made the jump Mm -hmm. and I got myself a new bed. Now, let me tell you about my experience with my bed so I can let you guys know how much better I feel. First of all, when you're dealing with the bed, we spend more than a third of our lives. In a bed. And so it's very, very important. I don't wear my clothes every day. I don't even drive my car every day, but I sleep and I don't wear the same clothes okay, every day. Okay, I was like. I wear clothes every day. I'm not just out here. What are you doing me. when you're at home on Saturday? <laughs> 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 so, I love my body. I lock it. So, you know, I often have a hard time falling asleep or staying asleep. I frequently wake up feeling stiff in the morning or with pain in my neck and in my back. I'm always waking up in the morning hot and sweaty, not just because I'm a big guy, but I just got myself a purple mattress. You got it? I had to, and it is is just incredible. Now, mind you, I'm going to look straight into the camera because they are sponsoring us. They're a brand. I didn't even want a discount. I, I mean, I did want one and I wasn't able to get one, but I was fine. <laughs> but I didn't even need a discount. I was okay paying. And bruh, it was such a great investment. Investment I, is a key word. Investment in yourself. Because what did you say to me the first moment you woke up? Uh-huh. You were like, I I've feel never slept like I felt like I slept on a cloud. Refresh, and that I has slept- to be a heavy cloud to hold you up. Very heavy. <laughs> this has got to be a rain, a cumulonimbus, Bro. cumulonimbus Bro. thunder and lightning, and you get more bang for your buck with yeah. the sleep because you, in a perfect world we'll get eight hours of sleep. Whatever, mm-hmm. I don't always have eight yeah. hours. I slept for five hours, but I felt like I slept for a day and a half. Like yes. I woke up, I was just more alert. Like I went and worked out. Like I was in a better mood. Mm-hmm. It was just definitely, and I all I owe all of that to pur- mm-hmm. purchasing a purple mattress. Now the purple mattress will probably feel different than anything you've experienced because it uses the brand new material that was delivered by an actual rocket scientist. It's not like the memory foam that I was used to. I was yeah. actually used to worse than the memory foam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the purple mattress feels very unique because it's both firm and soft at the same time. So it keeps everything supported while still feeling really comfortable. Plus it's breathable so it keeps cool. I'm a bigger dude. Mm-hmm. I get hot when I sleep. Mm-hmm. I need it. So you know what I'm saying? Um, hundred. If you sign up with them now you get a hundred night risk free trial if you're not fully satisfied you can return your mattress for a full refund it's backed by a 10-year warranty and free shipping and returns you're gonna love purple and right now our listeners will get a free purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress that's yes. in addition to the great free gifts that they're offering site ride just text rr just rr, R-R. R-R. text R-R. rr to 84888 the only way to get this free pillow is to text rr to 84888 that's rr to 84888 Eight 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 message and data rates may apply. Mm-hmm. So yes, I feel mm-hmm. like and that's I mean I know that we you know because when we pick the brand deals that we get we can pick the stuff that we yeah. want. So when we, when I seen that on the dock I was like definitely get that because I need a new bed. I'm telling y'all this is not me trying to sell you guys anything. Get yourself a purple mattress. You will and just thank me later. Thank, thank him me later. later. Yes, and we went viral off of just talking about chips and that's things. That's what I always tell people. People right. ask me what what do you do? Just post it. Post it. You yeah. just never, you never it's know. It's a funny thing. I, the last four videos that I made on the last three videos I made that went stupid viral on Twitter mm-hmm. has all been stuff I just threw up. The Fritos thing, mm-hmm. Zay Zay after his haircut. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, the last four. Remember JoJo, the one when you were yelling at JoJo, but you were JoJo, saying JoJo when things? he got the good grades, mm-hmm. and I was yelling at him, and JoJo uh, when he was on the roller coaster. Just and that's, stuff I just threw up. That's what I'm starting to understand is that. That's people, they come for you. They just want you. It doesn't have to be this thought up thing. It's just Be aggressively people, genuine as Patrick Cloud said. Absolutely. So moving on to moving our next right topic along. of the day. Yes, this yes, is yes. a really interesting thing. It's all the topic of today. Okay. So Lori Laughlin, who I would have never known by name, <laughs> but she is Aunt Becky on Full House. She's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She mm-hmm. might be in the new season of Orange is the New Black <laughs> because <laughs> she is in hot water. You know her from Full House and Fuller House, and you might know her from the Big House. The <laughs> Are you doubled up on the jail oh, jokes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Her and Felicity Huffman, and Felicity Huffman is also famous. Mm-hmm. She was in Desperate Housewives okay. and Trans America or some movie. Okay. And her husband's William H. Macy of Shameless. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy? That's her husband. I thought he looked familiar and when I said that. He was at the courthouse, too. Now, this is just ridiculous now, news. Let me but tell you what these Kevin. people have okay, okay. done. They, mm-hmm. in all their richness, well, apparently Aunt Becky's married to the guy who created Massimo, which is a fashion line with surfaces. So they're just her. getting money hand over He's fist. He's worth $80 million. Okay. So they're involved in a college entrance scheme. There's this guy, uh, William Singer. Okay. He's the key person. His place, his thing was called the key something. I don't okay. know, something the key. Okay. Basically, this dude was running a scheme to get people's rich people's kids in college, into college. And they had two methods of doing it. One, which is what Aunt Becky took, they faked that your child was an athlete. Oh my God. 
To include, so Aunt Becky's daughter, they said, was on a crew team, and she right. was getting recruited to USC. Because of being on this crew. Because she was a crew athlete. Right, so right. she rode, rode, rode her way into college. Okay? <laughs> You're on a roll with these. $500,000 <laughs> is how much this bribe costs. They took a picture of the girl's head and photoshopped, photoshopped it on a real crew athlete. Huh. What's, what's and crazy it, about that, too, is there are <laughs> thousands and thousands of genuine athletes that, that fight for a spot like that every year to get a scholarship. Yes. Even just to Or just to just go. To this, this is when Josh applied to USC. Mm-hmm. You did? He oh. didn't get in. They hit me with the Matumbo. They hit him. No, 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 Joshy. You know, go ahead. <laughs> and my bye, mom bye. went there. She's still paying that note off. What? So this is just oh, white. Mom went there? Mm-hmm. And that's supposed to help your application. Mm-hmm. So this, they really didn't mm-hmm. want you. Mm-hmm. This is just white privilege gone wrong. No, no, no. This is, I think, well, it's white, but this is rich privilege. Rich privilege This is wealth wrong. privilege, right? Wow. Not everybody so, can just cut the check for 500000 500000 And I don't, it, I mean, they happen to be white and maybe it is, right. but this was, you. it seems like you got the money. Well, just the thought that you have all of this money and all of these things and you still want to cheat the system so you could first of all <laughs> you could have spent that money to okay let me tell you the other <laughs> okay, way they got okay, it because okay. this is what felicity husband husband's kid is got it. they would fake sat and act tests for you so they had an in with the proctor that would help you take a test and they would correct your answers and send it in they basically could guarantee you like a Somewhere between the seventeen and eighteen hundred on the. SAT. So what you're telling me, let me just so I understand this right, because I was getting this on the tail end of coming in. So they created a system where they not only were they frauding the system, they would help others fraud the system. It was like fifty parents. So the dude, the William Singer dude, had uh twenty five million dollars in bribes from forty eight to fifty parents. Twenty five. M's? Million what is that? An average of a of bribe? Man, it's a you think lot. about five hundred just for one? Five hundred bands. So he was bribing the coaches to tell the admission people that they were a genuine athlete. Bribing the proctors. They had kids taking tests at home. And uh, it's funny because somebody on Periscope just said this. These are the same people who tell us to pull us up, pull ourselves up by our bootstraps, and you gonna pay your way in because they were making. It was like Ivy League colleges, USC, Georgetown. It wasn't just one college. It was like no, no, no. They were pretty much guaranteed you admission to. These whatever college you want, basically. This is a whole nother page. This is page. so terrible. This yes. is a whole nother page. This is in, a very in just college in general. This, well, this is an example of what happens in America a lot of times. I, I just one don't. when you are white, mm-hmm. the rules are often different for you. This is true. When you are white and rich, oh. the rules don't even apply. You're playing a different game. We what, study. Bruh, and the kids why? might not even know. You, can you imagine thinking you got an ACT and you, and you got six questions right, but and your parents some, paid 500 bands to make sure you uh, got in? Uh, this this is just making me lose faith in humanity. That makes, no, I'm just saying this, the character of people. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? The oh, more yeah, stuff yeah. that people, people just keep doing, oh, like, listen, why would you do that? Let me that? tell you something. I want to say something because you, you should think about this. When God created Adam and Earth, I mean, Adam and Eve, created uh-huh. Earth, he gave Adam and Eve literally everything, uh-huh. but one thing you can't do, what do they do? That one thing that they can do. I want that, bro. I told you you can have all yeah, this other all, stuff, I but that one, What though. can I not do? That's just- Since the beginning of humanity, we've been trash. <laughs> Off the, ri- the first <laughs> thing we did was be like, first thing nah, I, I want, want that. that. Why? Why? You have all this other stuff. Mm-mm. You have money. I feel like God would have had a better think chance. Think about that. Think about that. You have money. Right. The only reason, well, for most, for all intents and purposes, that people are going to college is to get a good job, to make money. You already have the end result. What do you even need to do this for? That because five, you can. That because is Because when you have money, you do stuff because you can. Because you want to. I want to make sure I got my kids in. I don't want them to have to work. So apparently Jared Kushner, who's uh, connected to Trump, uh-huh. he got into Harvard off of a $2.5 million gift. So just what is the school? What does this say? This is what I want to say. Uh, and I'm, I know I'm cutting you off. Uh, <laughs> y'all have got to stop acting yeah. like we are playing the game on an even playing We're field. We're not. We are not. If you are poor, you don't have that opportunity. Yes. I, there's a podcast called How I Built This by Guy Raz. Mm-hmm. And I love it. And I had to stop listening to it. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. That was a statement. I'm going to tell you why. So many of those people's stories start off with I had an idea. Uh-huh. And I got my initial investment from mm-hmm. family and friends. 
two, three hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars. You could have had the best idea. You could have the idea. I mean, Uber, have ideas. Uber, right. Airbnb, whatever, the right. iPhone. Uh -huh. You, no one in your circle, me either or Josh, mm -hmm. no one in our family has access to that capital. But people want to act like, oh, all you got to do is have the idea and do something, and then you can. And a, and a lot of these it's people will take. A lot of these people will take ideas from people who have nothing, and then just make yes. it themselves. Amazon, they have the money. Three hundred thousand dollars, Jeff. Uh, Jeff Bezos asked his family for. So that's what I'm trying to do for Zay Zay. Right. Y'all think I'm playing. Zay, here's yo. what I'm going to do. No, I, I, I'm going to make the game unfair for my family. Absolutely. That's what I'm going to do right. because nobody's playing fair. Nobody. If you get, Nobody. And all I mean by that is when you have that much money, like when Zay Zay wants to make a movie, oh my he God. can come to me and be like, Dad, here's my idea for a short film. Would you invest in it? Absolutely. Side Whether note. it's good or stinks. Yes. But side note, I know it ain't going gonna off, stink. I know it's going off track for a minute and we'll get right back to this. But oh, it's yeah. still on when track. You sit that trailer that Zay Zay put together. Zay is in here. My God, I, I I carry this dude like my nephew. So I'm like, when I seen this, because not only did he do the 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 stop motion yeah. picture stuff. When I seen that, I was just like, he's so good. Oh, score Zay Zay. He scores. edited that iMovie. <laughs> Shout out. He Bro, edited you haven't seen it? iMovie. Yeah, yeah, I said oh, it. Oh, okay. Relax. Jeez. He edited it in iMovie. It was amazing. In himself with the music, with the music and the text, and he shot most of that. Duh. Like I'm all in. You oh, I'm all in. That's and that's so what great. people with money do. You right. the rules when you have mm -hmm. money, the and this is the funny thing. Mm -hmm. The not only do the rules not apply to you, things are easier. So right. I have this American oh, yeah. Express. I got a Delta Reserve business card. Yeah, he was in first right? class when we was flying together. This is the thing. The more money you make, the better credit you are have, the less things you have to pay for. Which is crazy. That is the most ironic Delta thing in the world. That's bumps life. me up to first class. All the time because I was I'm very diamond. jealous walking past you the other oh, day too. Ah, you're gonna. You just look like you was just having too much fun. Oh, man. when I flew laid back, out. Where do we fly back from on Sunday? From Atlanta, right? Was it Delta One? Delta One. You got the bag. Bruh. Bumped me to first class, and we had Delta to go One. sit down. <laughs> Your shoes were off, Josh. Bruh. They carried you Before in, right? I go to sleep. They're like, "Sir, we're gonna take off. We know it's really early. <laughs> do we, we're gonna serve breakfast shortly. Would you like to be woken up for breakfast, or would you like to sleep and then we can feed you breakfast after?" I was like, with my little ascot. I'll let me sleep, and if I wake up in time, I'll have a little Meanwhile, something. me, Tony, and Tahir were getting pushed with a broom. Go sit down. Go sit down. Scat, you scat. Okay, 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 okay. Where are you guys in main, <laughs> main cabin? Put your stuff up there and sit down, you. Main? <laughs> the thing about first class, you get on the plane, you turn left. Bruh. Y'all go to the right. Bruh. I don't know what it's like back there. Yeah. Sounds scary. It is. So, and then with miles, the higher right. you get in Delta, the the more miles. So, like, I think when you first start, it's $1 equals one mile. Okay. And then on your credit mm -hmm. card. Then when you get to Diamond, it's like $1 equals 14 miles. What? Yes. So, while we're on the subject, <laughs> taking my family to Japan for Christmas. Japan. Oh, ho, yeah. First, New nickname alert, International Cat. First class tickets i didn't get first class ticket not you josh it's okay you fly just... main cabin be thankful no 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 first class for me list zay and joe all on miles all you don't have to that means you, you don't have to pay, pay for taxes it? right it's I pay, like, it was like, like all the miles like it's like ten dollars so you non -stop, don't have to pay for the flight at all no non-stop to tokyo teach me your ways international it was like Kev. a million miles i had a million miles saved because i was saving to go to australia Japan. And, I, and you and said it. I'm flying to Japan, and I'm gonna. I'm saving my miles so that I can fly back. Oh, it's one way. Right first now? class. Oh, that's one way. Oh, it, it was two hundred fifty thousand miles. Per Translate person. that to people. How much would it have cost if you had to pay for oh, that ticket? Oh, it cost ten grand. Wow. Yeah, because they're yeah. Three, they're those tickets were thirty five hundred a piece. Not. Woo. And I didn't have the cash for so that. So you was like, we're just gonna eat some Japanese food. We ain't <laughs> way. We'll be going to Panda we'll Express. We're going to Wasabi Grill. <laughs> Mess with first class. Grill. First class is more, isn't it? Yeah. First wow. class was, no, that, that ticket was like 3500 or $4,000. What happened to the timer? I don't it know. It was just about to hit thirty anyway. Okay, so anyway, if you want to be able to um, pay for those type of things, then you know what you need? What do you need? You need a good job. You do. And me and you are entrepreneurs. We are. But before we did that, right. we worked regular jobs. I used to steal lunches out of the refrigerator. At Allstate. And one thing that I actually was never really good at Physical fitness things and eating right and very funny. keeping Stealing your hairline, growing funny. a beard. Very funny. <laughs> One thing I was never really good at was negotiating for a higher raise, okay. a better job. I just kind of take took what was given mm -hmm. to me. So listen, 
you know me and Doe were on tour. We were doing the big leaf of faith to quit our jobs and chase that thing. But before we did that, we worked regular jobs. And you more than likely mm-hmm. uh, work a regular job, right. possibly looking for a better job or a mm-hmm. raise or something like that. Mm-hmm. And boy. Oh, boy. Do we have the thing for you? Because we want you to have a higher paying job we do. so mm-hmm. that you can join the right pack and get the bonus episodes. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. If you don't have the extra $5 a month, then you can't get the bonus stuff. You right. got 25 right. You need that high paying job mm-hmm. to get there. So what we have for you is a free webinar. Mm-hmm. Okay. This webinar is going to teach you how to get the high paying job you desire. So I want you to visit www.webinar.attractjobsnow.com. Mm-hmm. That's www.webinar.attractjobsnow.com. The webinar is taught by job search expert Jerome Young. He's been featured in Forbes.com, MSNBC, Black Enterprise, and other media outlets. He specializes in helping people get job interviews and job offers fast without applying to jobs online. People who work with Jerome get an average salary increase increase of 30%. Mm. This week, he's offering the webinar for free, so mm. sign up today. Click the link in the description to register. So that will be in the show notes yes. or in the comments if you are watching on Facebook and YouTube. Absolutely. So if that's the thing for you, don't say we ain't never tell you how Come to do on. it. Come on, we hooking you up. It's you free. Feel. Check it out. Decide for you yourself. You can do it for the free. You can do Stop it for the yourself, F-R- you double E. You yeah. feel yeah. me. You feel me. Okay, so back okay. to um. So back to uh, Aunt, Aunt Becky. Was it, that was her name on the show? I'm Becky. You remember her? Yeah, she was fine. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know her real name. What was her real name again? Lori Laughlin. So are they going to jail for this? Is this is this some fair time? Uh, It's absolutely a felony. Side note. Can I say this? Because this is what's been on my heart for a long time, and I just want to say it now. I'm starting to believe, and this may be an unpopular opinion, and I'm okay because you told me as long as I say what I feel in my heart, mm-hmm. I should never feel bad. Yes. College is starting more and more to seem to me like one of the biggest scams on earth. Mm. Seriously, I think I, with, I with agree. the NCAA and how they get all this money for here's what I they don't pay the players. I agree with you. Here's what I'll say: the American dream mm-hmm. is you work hard, mm-hmm. you go to high school to get into a good college, right? You go into a good college to get a good, good, job. good job, right? What's happening is people are doing that mm-hmm. and they're not getting a good job, mm-hmm. and they're usually saddled with debt. Yeah. So. It's 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 taking away what it's promised and uh-huh. making it harder okay. on you. So then when you get out and you're 22, now you got 100K in debt. Yes. Like you still be talking about Sally Mae to this day. I still have student And you getting that paper. You know I know you getting that paper. Hey, I ain't and got you no still paper. Still a-, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of dollars. That's it. I ain't nothing. I got nothing. I ain't no paper. But Hopefully they, I'll pay my student loans off just enough time for my kids to go to college. That's just, and then I just feel like they, it's just, a, now to hear this, this really breaks my heart. Well, the thing that's unfortunate is, so Felicity Huffman had a tweet mm-hmm. in about four, two or three years ago. And people, anytime something bad happens to you, people- Oh, they're going back to the old tweets. Yeah. They'll, oh, they'll, oh, oh, we're yeah. gonna oh, we're find gonna it. find your tweets. So she tweets, uh, uh, what's some of your back to school life hacks? <sighs> well, we know what yours is. <laughs> Cheating to get in. Cheating. How about that? System. And that's the thing, like, the rich people in the world, they always cheat. They always all, and that's how they say, the rich the get richer, but that's how they do it, I believe. Yes. If and you're rich, then point the finger at you, poor people, you guys just got to work hard. Pull it, yourself up by your bootstrap. If wow, tax wow. breaks. I'll boot whip you with this bootstrap. <laughs> Don't tell me that's about that. That's if everything was equal. It's not. But if your family has money, you have a leg up. Just accept it. Just say it for what it is. We know it's not the same for you. Mm-hmm. Even a kid who has to, in high school, it's not even the same. Like, mm-hmm. if you're rich and I'm poor, right. and I have to go to high school and mm-hmm. work two or three jobs and get my younger sister ready for school, right. and my mom's working, and, and I can't. I gotta, and I can't play sports because I gotta work. And your family's rich, right? And you don't have to worry about working, and you get play any sport. I mean, we don't even have the same path to just, college. Like when we were talking about when everybody was calling Kylie Jenner the self-made billionaire. Yeah, not self-made. Like, no. no. And at first, I was like, man, stop hating on college. You're doing a thing. But then when you really explain, she's like, just if if she was just safe from the inner city or yeah. just didn't have that big platform, she probably wouldn't be a billionaire yeah, right no, now. No, 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 right, no, right, no. Right, no. Right, if right. Kylie Jenner was black and mm-hmm. from Baltimore, she the was, inner city, right. there is 100 percent no chance at this age. Right. She's a billionaire. But see, it is possible. To become a billionaire, Oprah right. was poor and did it, right. Bob Johnson, but at 19 or 20, whatever she is, right. impossible. And I feel like they, they people control the narrative because they'll put it out there like, oh, self-made billionaire, then it, it'll put false ideologies in people's head. Like, yes. that, doesn't help it, that doesn't happen for The social capital that Kylie had because of her family's name. Exactly. And, and her, her product is sold online. Right. 
Kim Kardashian, having the built-in influencer network of Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Kris Jenner, right. Bruce, or Caitlyn Jenner, I don't know, Caitlyn Jenner? Caitlyn. Caitlyn Jenner uh -huh. at that time. Uh, and uh, even uh, Kendall Jenner. Right, all these people. Not Chloe, to mention the rappers them, right. and athletes and all that social capital to say, hey, go buy Kylie's makeup. Right. She's not started from scratch. Right. If Kim Kardashian and all them tweeted about black girl X's makeup, right. then she would have, she might not, she still, still wouldn't be a billionaire. Be a billionaire but she'd but be imagine, all. imagine where right. she would be. So stop. Stop. And I'm not taking anything away no, from no, her. No, like and she, that's no she shame. Hard no, and stuff, right. but, but let's stop saying she's self-made because right, right. I will sock you. Yeah. And, that's it can, first. and it can be whatever. And that is facts. So so, so how do we fall on this? So so are they, are they about to start putting people in braces over this? The dude already pled guilty. William Ooh. Singer pled guilty to so William Singer. William Singer got up in that interrogation when we started singing. He are <laughs> it's them. <laughs> he, he had, he had on his part too. So people are going to go to prison. He absolutely should. is going. As they should. As they should. And let's stop acting. All I want to say is let's stop acting like the game ain't rigged. The because you have minorities good. and yeah. women who still win mm -hmm. with the game rigged. I saw it was a great quote in Scandal. Um, Olivia Pope's dad told her, when you're playing the game with white people, you have to be twice as good mm -hmm. to get half as much. And that is true. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's definitely oh. true. Well, yeah. I hope, everybody, I hope uh, everybody gets what they, because that's just, I feel like that's not just frauding the system. That's frauding the the thought of what you can be like you know what I mean yeah. like there's people who didn't get to go to college because of this like who will Josh be able to Josh go to Josh is one example of a of a kid who could be deserving who's not getting it because somebody with money just wants to cheat jukes the system That's and then they'll it. tell Josh all you got to do is work hard and go to a hard school a, no, a great school no, no I got to get parents that can cheat for me and exactly. That disgusts me. I man. hope Aunt Becky goes to prison. She was fine too. Yeah, she's gonna be fine in prison. But what too. you did was ugly. Mine okay. Is, uh, Switching work. gears. Yes. Spoiler alert for this boop, next boop, 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 boop. section. We're going to talk about the Netflix documentary Abducted in Plain Sight. No, nah, I'm just. If you have not seen it, get out of here now. Fast forward now to the one gotta go. Okay? okay. Just keep fast forwarding on right. podcasts. Mm -hmm. If you're watching on Periscope, get out of here. Scram. Scram, you. Because you don't want to hear you what we're going to say. Okay, so and I don't want to hear nothing. If you're still listening, we have we given told you, you the spoiler alert. And this yes. is one of those things that is best watched. Like, if you ain't seen yeah. it, watch it without watch knowing. It. So if you're still watching, uh -huh. or you maybe, this might we're be We're going to assume that you watched it. And I don't want to hear nothing else about it. Because it could be whatever. So um, this I'll let was you set it okay, up. Because you all, actually watched it and you told me to watch it. it yes, and I was like, nah, nah, nah. It was a very difficult watch. So basically, the, sh the, the documentary is about a young girl who was uh, targeted by a very, very sick man. And he went through all means to abduct her, kidnap her, do terrible things to her. But the way that he did it was so abominable. He actually infiltrated her parents. He started a sexual relationship with the mother and the father. So that let's and just let's just pause. It was so hard listening to the dad. Let's talk just about pause that. because yes, you want to talk about parents mm -hmm. being manipulated. He got the wife to cheat on her right. husband with him, right, and then got the husband. Then he tells the husband in one conversation, he pulls the husband, comes, hey, pick me up from work, man. Let's take a ride. Right. Okay, I was watching this with my wife. She was like, Kev, you got to watch. And I was like, nah, that boy said. She was like, Kev, I watched it this weekend, yeah. please. Mm -hmm. In the car with the dude, he pulls over. He's like, look, me and my wife are going through it. <laughs> I'm not trying to be the laugh, but I'm sorry. Oh, it's this funny. Crazy. Okay. He's like, me and my wife are going through it. Mm -hmm. We don't be having no sex. I need some relief. You're going to need what some relief. What you say you give this thing the old heave hope? <laughs> He's like, I'm, chain. I'm sorry, what? I Pull need my rope. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I need you to pretend this is a shake weight. Okay. <laughs> this man was well, like apparently a trying to get a lucky seven. Okay. I was too far. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Apparently the dude, the the, the husband Ooh. wasn't even gay. Was it? He was just like, oh, he just, he was so convinced. I need some relief. And he was like, oh, he reaches over and does it in broad daylight in the car. Bro, that's just. Ugh. Man, he had to have some like he must have been like looking at him at some point before then. Like you can't just get in the car and all of a sudden be like get your sexual orientation and who you're in the car with. I forget everything. I'll do I do mean, it. What kind? Of, <laughs> what? <laughs> what a friend to be like. Hey, man, it's been tough, bro. Do you? You're my homeboy. If in any event you ever was like so, no. 
<laughs> I'm gonna beat you up, <laughs> kick you out the car, run over you. <laughs> then you gonna see me in Righteous and Ratchet with a pinup of you, like, look, man, Kevin's dead. Like, Bing! my lips <laughs> well, He was playing life. too much. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. Kev is dead. <laughs> you hear me? Dead on stage. So, <laughs> so he used that. Um, yes, it's a true story. This is it's a true just, story, yes. right? He used that. Uh, how's my bandana? It's, I got stress marks on it because your head <laughs> is it it's up? pushing it to the limits. It's like <laughs> push it to the limit. <laughs> so he used that uh, what I was called blackmail, right, to convince these parents to allow him to do things with their daughter. To that sleep in a room with her. <sighs> then it just got ripped. I, mind you, so hold on, I, hold, I, hold I was, on, okay. hold on. You, I mean, because the people need to know how ridiculous okay. this was. He told them that his therapist yes. told him that because of trauma that he suffered as a child, he needed to sleep in the room with their daughter to cure him. And they're like, oh, Lord. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> there is no grown man and what? <laughs> that is going to be, and you try to feel empathy for these people, like, I just don't want to think you're that dumb, but you're that dumb. I don't know if it's dumb. What is it then? Completely gullible, That's naive. I would I, I, they were looking at like, like oh, no, no, I'll tell you what gullible is. One time my credit was bad, I had to go get a car. I had to go buy it. And so they sold me a car and it was like, hey man, the reverse doesn't work, but we have a warranty on it. We'll we'll get it set up for you later. I bought the car with no reverse. That is gullible. That was me being stupid. What they did is not gullible. Okay. That's just something different. I'll give you I'll give you that. Yeah. That was completely different. <laughs> <laughs> they they were completely like, just like out of the and spectrum. they were like well you know we lived in a neighborhood where we didn't lock our doors that's so you stupid said, too. let me allow a adult male forty years old to sleep in the room with four my nights a week for six months that's then it got even weirder he said I'm gonna take her horseback riding. I'll be back. Okay, so you're going to just sleep in the room with their daughter, then leave. Leaves with the daughter, then just goes away for a few days. Mm -hmm. They were just like, well, after the third day, I was just like, well, they should be back. So by the fifth day, what do you mean by the fifth day? Like, they <laughs> said they didn't want to call the police because they, did, they didn't want to bother nobody. Their daughter was gone three days. They called the FBI. They're like, oh, we don't come back to work till Monday. They're like, should we call the local police? Like, ah, it's the weekend. Let them enjoy their time with their family. We'll call them on Monday. Monday? Your daughter has been gone with a person then, who is not related to them, and you are worried about people worrying about messing up with the police's weekend? And then this is where, like, I'm not going to lie. I will be very, very honest. I had to stop watching it. It was that uncomfortable. I won't even say some stuff, but it got into very graphic detail of what he was doing with her. But then on the time that they did this, this horseback thing, he like took her and like put her in a room. She was thinking she was out of space and that yeah. she had been abducted by aliens. Totally manipulated her. It was just the then, most. Then, oh. this is the part that's just crazy. Oh no. After abducting their daughter, mm -hmm. she was gone for like uh, almost a month, maybe right. a little bit more than a month, at least three weeks when right. I was watching it. Okay. Mm -hmm. He comes, calls them like, hey, I can only bring her back if you let me marry her. Just, They're like, no, we're not doing that. He's like, I, I ain't gonna bring her back. So his brother, his brother snitches on him. They get the daughter back, right? Mm. He comes back. He's like, I need you guys to drop the charges. Otherwise, I'm gonna reveal what I did with you and your husband. <sighs> this, you didn't get to this part? I ain't gonna lie, no, I didn't. Because okay. I was just no, no, I understand. I understand. Okay. He convinces them to drop the charges of kidnapping on their daughter. So they wouldn't get so exposed. So he wouldn't expose. They were like, oh, we didn't want it to be our business in the street. What will people think of us? So the police are like, we we have him. We, that's right. We, we can put him in jail for, for 20, 30 years easily. And they're like, nah. So they, I mean, and the, and the, the um, I can't think of the word, the affidavit uh -huh. was like, we we basically gave him permission to take him. He's like a family friend. The the husband had given them consent. So not only did they allow their daughter to be taken, they once she was kidnapped, they absolved the kidnapper of all his charges. What Guess what? No, 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 no. What world do we live in? So it gets so much worse. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Worse than that? Listen to your boy. I told you you should have finished it. You, once you're in 30, you, you think that's it? I thought there could be nothing worse. Oh, there can after the kidnapping, okay, he convinces the mom to come down to his motorhome in Utah. She enters into another extramarital affair with him for eight months after he kidnapped their daughter the first time. Whose man's is this family? Who, whose fam is this? It was to be the question. Yes. What? An extramarital affair. 
She went back and had sex with this dude after he told her, I'm going to marry her if you don't let me drop the charges. I kidnapped her. I'll sleep with you again for eight months. Yes. What is wrong with people? I don't know. And then. No, there's oh, no more no. and then. No. You're not going to have no more and then. Oh, no, boy. There's one more and then. <laughs> what? what do this do? man kidnaps the daughter again. At this point, is, is it still considered kidnapping? <laughs> he kidnaps the daughter again. Again, wait. She got back in the car. Though? She he came to her window this time. Okay, I was about to be like, got her, take takes two. her, right? Then tricks the family. He's like, I ain't, I ain't seen her. Kidnaps her. Um, she's gone. They don't know. And this time she's gone for months. Right. Right. And how old is she at this time? Like, like thirteen. Oh, oh my. This was gosh. like the next year. He's calling the mom. I spoke to Jan. Well, what did she say? Will you let me marry her? Well, do you really want to still marry her? Yes, I want nothing more to marry her than anything in my life. Well, I don't know, baby. I don't know. Thirteen years 13. old. Thirteen. Okay. Finally, <laughs> because they they felt bad. He was he was living in Jackson Hole, Wyoming at this time. This is before the second kidnapping. This dude was like, "I want your daughter. I won't do anything to stop it." She's like, "Mommy, I want to go. I want to go." He's like, "I want her." The mom puts the daughter on a plane to go spend two weeks with the man after kidnapping him because she was acting up. When I tell you, Isaiah, Josiah, you could act up for the rest of your God-given life. You could hate me every single day of your life. Bro. And I don't care what you say. This is the thing about being a parent. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let me finish my thought. And I know I interrupt you. I just want to say this final thing. This is the thing about being a parent. Right. I don't care what you think. Yeah. You do what I say. When it comes to this stuff, yeah, yeah. fam, you can hate me. Yeah. You Sit, can right. be mad. Yeah. I'm not letting you go with this man. Hate me until the day you die. It's my responsibility to, to raise you, you keep right. you safe. Protect you. Well, she was not acting herself and stuff like that. So wait, so how did this all end? Did he go to prison? So this is how it ended. Uh, they, so he you made it through this whole thing in one sitting? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You're strong, man. Let me tell you. You're real strong. Well, I was watching with my wife, and she had already seen it. So I every time I had to pause it and be like, what? Oh, so you were having breakdown moments, too? Yes. I couldn't. I, I had to pause like, it and be what like. What am I watching? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so... He had put the girl in a private school in Pasadena somewhere. Said she was a CIA. He was a CIA agent. And, you know, he's allowed to uh, put them in there, things like that. So that's the first part. So he was manipulating everybody. He was manipulating. So he was good at what he did. All parties. Albeit terrible. Albeit terrible. Okay. So he manip manipulates them. Mm -hmm. uh, the FBI finds him. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, at this point, they're just like, we don't care what the parents say. We're going to come lock you up. Yes. Okay. Okay. He goes to jail. Uh, he's he's sentenced for like a year and a half. Sentenced to a year and a half. A year and a half. Wait, wait, wait. All the things he's done, they got him for a year and a half. He spent about forty five days in jail, I think, something like that. Less than two months in jail. Okay. And then, then they just, let him out. Then let him out. He went to mental institution. That's what happened. They said, you know what, this dude's crazy. Basically, we can't send him regular prison. Give him a year and a half. He did like two or three months. Got out. Went Good right behavior. back to living his life. Good behavior. Hmm. Whatever. So then he just spends the next 30 years of his life out after all that. And then what happens is the mom and the girl write a book about it. And he comes out. Y'all better stop telling those lies about me. Defamation. Defamation of character. Crazy. And she's in the court. He represents the nerve him. of this guy. They're in court. He represents himself. He's like, you, you're telling lies. She's like, fam, you you did this to me. What are you talking about? And he was like, I apologize. So he's about to get locked up for life. They're about to have him dead to rights. He commits suicide. He drinks all his heart medicine, medicine whole bunch of milk, kills himself. He said, I'll, I'll die before I do a in jail. He was like 70, 80 years old at this time. And then he kills himself. He kills himself. So he never even really had to go to jail for any of the stuff he did. I'm just blown away by what, I, what world are we living in? Man, That's this was in the 70s in Idaho. And I'm just like, wow. I just don't understand that. Like, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. So we thought that the Michael Jackson doc parents were bad. Right. And they were. Right. Our Kelly doc parents were bad. And oh, they, they were. were. But abducted in plain sight parents? They take the cake in bad parenting. Oh, Jesus. That is, that is. That is bad. That is. I'm sorry, you was just, just checking. No, no, he's, okay. <laughs> he's just, he's just. <laughs> that is just, whew. 
Yeah. Wow, that's. I couldn't sit through it. It was. I, are you, are you, well, you have a daughter. Yes. I, so I understand. That is. I, I don't know what I'm more upset of. There's so many things to be upset about by that. I'm just. Ups, I, I guess I'm just the most upset about the absence of justice. Yeah. Like and that, that nobody. And that time it was actually the parents. Fault. I was going to say, because they dropped the charges the first time. Yes. If that didn't happen, he would have been in jail for the whole second half of that. And that's what the police officer was saying. He was like, they they killed my case. He would have been in jail. This wouldn't have happened that's a second time. It's 100%. And as a parent, like, I get it. It's tough. It's hard. You don't know everything and all that stuff. I get that. But you, everyone knows letting, I don't care what your therapist says. Bro, you ain't laying in the bed with, and apparently other parents so he tried it with other parents right. and they were they had kicked him out and stuff like that so it comes to light he had raped like six other girls or something like that and was just allowed to run and free and just was out here running and free. that's just I think the thing that breaks my heart the most about this is the thing that made it so difficult to watch the Michael Jackson doc the R. Kelly doc the this one people are doing this to two to innocent innocent children baby. not that it's right to do it to anybody right but the fact that you prey on Children. Oh yeah. In light news. Yeah. Because we 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 decided. I think, oh yeah. I think it was actually somebody mentioned like, hey, how about y'all do one gotta go sometime because it'd be dark in y'all. It'd episode. be dark. Yeah, yeah. Dark. So we uh, took that idea from y'all right. and we like it. Right. One so locker. Doughboy has a difficult one gotta go. Mm. Of these actors, mm. one and all their work mm. gone, erased from your ability to consume. I, <sighs> Actor Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. I don't know how to do this. I know you we, don't. This is, this is the power of this. We're actually having this discussion at the airport. It was just me. It was the, all, all the guys from uh, Real Community Social Media. And by the time we got 10 minutes into the conversation, it was maybe 10, 12 people. People of Everybody. all different races. I mean, white people were like, are you kidding me? Huh, son, be like, you know. So was we really, were having a whole conversation right, so, in the okay. waiting area. So now, th this Stop is. Stop looking at the camera. I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, look at it here. Yeah. All right, so with these four actors, I I just love all of their work. I, I mean, I'm on record for saying Leonardo DiCaprio is my favorite actor. Like, he don't make bad movies. Uh-huh. So do you want me to go first? I want to get you, get to talking. All right, so Leo has to go first to stay on just because, for one, I don't think he makes movies. I can argue that I would pick him over Denzel, and that's a very bold claim. We've had this argument a lot. But Leo don't make bad movies. Like, I've been a fan of his since he was cameoing on on uh, Growing Pains. He did Basketball Diaries. He's he's just good. He makes bad movies good. What bad movie did he make good? What was the movie that he did? Uh, uh, we just talked about this. The one where he, The Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby mm. was trash until he seen one comes in like 30 minutes into the movie. He takes it to another level. Django, one of my favorite movies. Departed. That wasn't a bad movie, though. What? No, no, no. I'm Django. not saying it was a bad movie. I'm no, saying, yeah, you said he okay. made good movies okay. bad. Right. So Django, I thought you were saying no, no, no. that. Django is so a great just movie. The Departed. I mean, right. uh, just uh, not Departed. Great, great, Gatsby. great Gatsby. So then you got movies like Django where he's so out of his normal pocket. Like he was a very villainous, disgusting, racist animal was, in that. And that just did. shows to his ability of acting. The Departed range, uh, just Inception. Like he is just Blood Leo, Diamond. Leo, Blood Diamond. Like the Reverend, like Wolf Leo, of Wall Street. Come on, I'm not leaving. Leo is. I'm not leaving. So, <laughs> I can, so are we agreeing that it's Leo's? Yeah, I ain't agree okay, with nothing. First. Okay, so Leo, cannot, I'm just talking to you. I okay. ain't. You don't put none of that on me. So Leo, don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Okay, so Leo has to stay. Okay. Second, that has to stay. Well, let me do my first. Okay, have okay, to okay, stay. Okay. We'll do it like that. Okay, got it. Tom Hanks. <sighs> That's my boy. Ooh, I, Tom right. Hanks. I will say this: my favorite actor. Wow. Yes. Over Denzel. Period. Over Denzel. Tom Hanks is so versatile he can do philadelphia oh my god he can do big yeah he can do saving private ryan yes top five movies for kev on stage top mm -hmm. six it's mm -hmm. number six he can do forrest gump mm -hmm. he can play woody oh my god we forget about his he can be in catch me and you can which is him and leo wasn't that a great movie People don't talk about it enough they, i feel like that was just that back and veterans forth, sparring oh it was it yeah. was a a sight to behold. Right, right, right. Him and Saving Private Ryan. Uh, ah! Castaway. 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 Dropped 100 pounds. He made us feel bad for a volleyball with a blood stain Wilson. on it. Oh, I was like, act. dang, Wilson. Tom Hanks can Versatility. 
And do you know how hard world. that? Not every actor can be in a movie by themselves. No, he did it. Will Smith did it. It's yes. very difficult because you have to bring people in to a place. I have made fire. Remember when he was just standing on the rock, but oh. he was just a hundred pounds left. Man. Jesus, a league of their own. You always wanted to grow up and play in a women's baseball league. You that had to inspire you as a you. In my eyes, <laughs> you Tom Hanks can do, can no wrong. do nothing wrong. I have never watched anything with him. Even uh, the Post, which was him and Meryl mm-hmm. Streep, talk about a snooze fest. Yeah. But he and her, he brings it. We're great. He brings it every time. I, he would be actually number two off my list. Now. I love. And he's also really likable in everything. Like all his interviews. Super likable. Like I'll be sad. If he comes out to be anything wrong, I'm going to be so bitter. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't, want, top, to, I don't so want to talk about that. So that'll just merge into, merge into my. Yeah. Focus, man. Okay, I'm sorry. You're easily okay. distracted. So, he's, so, so that'll just merge into that. So he's my second okay. coming off the board. So now off of my board is Leo uh-huh. and Tom Hanks for all the reasons that you just included. So who's yeah. your second off the board? Leo? No. Stop Take him try, off your list on fire or you can be whatever. Stop trying to put that on me. It can be whatever. Stop though. trying to put that on me. It can be whatever. I'm not putting it <laughs> off my board. <laughs> okay. Because so he's still next okay. off my board mm-hmm. is De Niro. De Niro is the I very much big fan. Goodfellas? Goodfellas. Mm. His 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 work in uh Godfather 2. Mm. Oh. Oh. When you when he was Vito Corleone and you because I was like when I watched Godfather one I'm like man how did Vito get like this mm-hmm, to give you like the they story. they kiss in the ring and everybody's terrified of him mm-hmm. man Vito Corleone oh come on Don Pepperoni okay. Don. <laughs> good fellas good fellas Casino mm-hmm. and he's also very funny see and in that's Meet the Fockers that's Meet where the, Meet the parents oh and, that's and where, Meet the Fockers that's where he turned. The corner that a lot of great actors can't, because I'm on record for saying Denzel never makes funny movies. Preacher's Wife, I haven't seen it, but yeah. But outside of that, he's not known for funny movies. Yeah. Leo don't make funny movies. No, so you know what I'm he saying. Al Pacino had... don't make funny movies, but he can be fun. No, no, no. Well, he he is funny in Sent a Woman. Al Pacino right, is really but funny. Just, but it's just very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult for a dramatic actor to be able to be funny, and he did that. He had a yeah. whole second career where you can kind of get his, yeah, the analyze, foxes, this, analyze this, analyze, analyze that. that. And he almost, they play off of his tough guy persona to make it the funny. And so I, he's married to a black woman. Is he? Yes, he is. Okay. You ain't know? I ain't know. Oh, I, I, oh, yeah. I, I never oh, knew. Yeah. Tony Baker. So was. I'll go, Tom Hanks stays, uh-huh. Robert stays. Okay, so now? Now we go to one gotta go. So now and this I, is where my this is this is going this is going to pain me and you'll probably want to fight after this. We, so we're, now we're gonna fight about okay, it. Okay, so now we have Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. No, no, Al Pacino and Leonardo DiCaprio. No, for me. Oh, for you, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got Al and Robert. You got Al and Leo. Yes. Okay, so Al is on both of our bottom two. Let me go first. Go first. Because you started off. Okay. The one who stays. Is Al Pacino. You're gonna lose Leo. Leo, I love you. You're gonna lose Leo. I do. No Blood Diamond. No Blood Diamond. No Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-mm. No Reverend. Revenant. Revenant. Stunk as a movie. He was great in it. Boring. Only for Oscar. He was great. The no more Catch Me If You Can. That hurts so bad that I lose Catch Me If You Can. But I gain any given Sunday. I gained scent of a woman. Scarface. I gained heat with Pacino and De Niro, which is a masterpiece. They do. Two, if you like Catch Me If You Can, he is the dramatic version of that. Kev, you lose Inception, though. Inception. <laughs> nah. You know that meme with a black girl who's like, <laughs> you're going to lose Bro, Inception? Scarface. Scarface I, is I agree with you. Scarface. I'm, just, I'm playing devil's advocate in this corner. And Inception is in my top five. And you're never and gonna be able to watch it again. I never will be able to watch you it again. I, you, no, I, catch me if you can. You'll I never know. See those I heard. I know moments. what you said. But Ch- Pacino's greatness and his length of 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 history, mm-hmm. bro. That's both. That's all three Godfathers gone. Okay. Yeah. One and two, and those two movies are in pretty much everybody's top one hundred. And and they're they Godfather one and two are usually in like film like uh, people who they rank teach films. You that. Top five. One of two of them is in the top five. So you go. And move. his growth from Michael Corleone, who is, I'm a college boy. I don't do none of the things my parents do, to the end of Godfather 1, 
where he becomes the devil and everybody dies to the end of Godfather 2? Godfather 3 never happened. We'll forget about it. Well, everybody says that. It stinks in comparison to the greatness of 1 and 2. Got it. I don't know if it's that bad of a movie, but it matters if Toy Story 3 just really sucked. You'd be like, yeah. man, the 1 of, and 2 the was good. Think of The Hangover. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Carlito's yeah. Way, okay, so which now, is your okay, favorite so now, movie. So, so you lost Leo. So Leo, God bless you. Uh, God keep God keep you. We will see you at the conference. I can't lose Tom Pacino De Niro, the greats. Okay. D, now, here's what I will say about Leo because I love him. Mm -hmm. Continuing on this path, mm -hmm. he has the chance to join them. Yeah, because he's not even, is he 40 now? But maybe 40, He's 40, probably 40, 44. But we get there. to see him grow. So his. And I love it. So in I'd 15 love years, we should have this 50, conversation. 60. Right. Because Leo in The Departed, I will argue that he's the best thing about The Departed. Oh, and Jack Nicholson was in The Departed. Mm. And Leo... I almost felt like we should have had Nicholson in this conversation. Say, Nicholson yeah, is a monster. But I, I would get rid of Jack easy. Really? Because he just hasn't made as many great movies as the other two. Okay. He was great in The Batman. Mm -hmm. And that movie with him and Helen Hunt, I the really Shining? liked. No, I don't like scary movies, so I don't care about that. No, you're scary, uh, The Helen Hunt movie uh, oh. with a dog. As good as it gets, I think. Uh, as good as it gets. Okay. But anyway, I think that might be it. But uh, You're going to lose Leo. Leo. All right, and so, you know what else Leo's good in that I didn't even mention? He's I really not like? bad at anything. Gangs of New York uh, against Daniel Day Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis, he holds is a his beast. own. That's what I'm saying. He, you kept. He's never unmatched on the screen. No, like he can always go there with you. Yes, and not all actors can do that. Okay, so now we have my bottom two. So Leo was was safe, and Tom Hanks was safe. Now we have Al Pacino and we have Robert De Niro. Man, you you said this. Let me Carlitos, pull out his credits. Carl you, yeah, pull the credits. When you let him go. Carlito's Way is the greatest movie of all time, in my eyes. Favorite movie. Scarface in my top Come five. on, man. Say hello um, to my little friend. Come on. Um, what would rappers have to, have to show in cribs if any, they didn't have that? Any given Sunday. Now, mind you, it's going to be tough because Robert De Niro has a Bronx tale. A Bronx tale is a great- I've never seen that. You've never seen a Bronx tale? Mm -mm. It's a great movie. Um- and I like his funny stuff. I, I can get and he has good fellas. Yeah. I don't really want to live in a Donnie world. Where I can't. So but if I had to make the decision Ocean's thirteen. If I had this He also did Raging Bull and Taxi Driver. No, no, that was De Niro. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Robert. Oh, you're De Niro. losing? No, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna have to lose De Niro. I can't Hold lose on, you're losing De Niro? I have to. Al Pacino has Robert my favorite movie. If you tell me I can't watch Carlito's Way, which I always felt was like an unauthorized sequel to Scarface, I, I love that movie. You're losing, You're losing the mafia movies, period. But Taxi I, Driver, but, Heat, uh, Goodfellas, Goodfellas, Cape Fear, Casino, Casino Godfather 2, Raging Bull, Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, Gronk, Bronx Tale. Meet the parents, the Untouchables. Analyze. Them. Oh wait! Oh stop! Stop! He is in the Untouchables. He is in the Untouchables. Wait, wait! That's my second favorite movie. Oh, Men of Honor. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because now I got to pick between Untouchables and Carlito's Way. Mm -hmm, I yeah. forgot about oh, that. Because yeah. Untouchables is like my second favorite movie. Yeah. This is no uh, Carlito's Way or Untouchables. When he beat that dude to death with the baseball yeah. bat? Oh, I seen it. I saw it. Oh, yeah. He's staying in mine. I get to watch it. I, I, I'm watching it right now. I love it. I, I, I get to watch it right now if I want to. Nah, I, I love Carlito's way too much. When he was like, you ready? So you I'm reloaded. Robert De Niro? No, I chose Al Pacino. Who's who? No, Who's, Robert oh, De Niro yeah, leaves. Oh, yeah, Robert De Niro has to leave. Robert De Niro got to go. That's difficult. But I love Carlito's way that much. I love Scarface. If I had to say... if. Scarface and, and Carlito's way would tip the scale for me over losing Untouchables because now I get two for one. Okay. And I get any given Sunday. Josh, who got to go for you? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Leo. Thank you. You two are fools. You're going to lose I Inception. I you, Joshua. You're going to lose Inception. I and Josh is younger than us and he I appreciates greatness. Inception. I cannot lose Scarface. I cannot lose Goodfellas. A Goodfellas is my dad's favorite movie ever. That's his papa. Papa. I can't. I, I can't do it. Okay. Well, it's settled. Okay. Moving on. Because we're doing two one gotta goes. Oh, we're doing we're, another one? Yeah, we're, oh, we like oh, it so yeah. much. So this is a new one. Somebody suggested this in the in the Patreon, and I was like, I never would have thought of this. Okay. Okay, so here's the rules. One city 
Gotta go. Oh, wow. L.A., Chicago, Atlanta, or New York? One city gotta go and everything tied to that city? You, <sighs> music you, included. You, no, no, no. Okay, I was about From to moving be like, forward, I don't know. I know that's hard. I don't know if I can. You can't. can never go to this city again. Oh. The city does Tell not me exist the in your again. life. LA. Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, and Atlanta. Okay. So we can do it like that. Um, if you had to move to one of those cities, you would pick the three and then not move in that city. But basically, that not like, oh, so if you don't pick Chicago, Kanye doesn't exist. Not like that. Okay. You can just never go to that city again. You can never visit there. You can never work okay. there. Never vacation. That city and we everything. We gotta play the game. Go. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Well, All there's right. there's this, stipulation. No, this is an Because you say everything gotta go. Right. If Atlanta, then I we have no that's, outcast. That's, different, that's different than if I can't visit Atlanta. So okay. I feel like that clarifying point So we're just talking about it as a city to visit yeah, to travel frequent. To. No, okay. period. You, you can't, can't go, go there at all. Oh, I can't never go. Mm-mm. One, one, one got to go. That you, I'm, I'm, that's why I put emphasis that you point that out. Cool, okay. cool. I'm so glad that I said that. I'll that's start this idea. one then. Okay, you start it off. The city that has to stay for me before any of First off the board for me, Atlanta, Georgia. Really? The I end? love I would not have thought that. Atlanta. I want to buy a home Ugh, in Atlanta. Got it. The houses are big there. Cheaper. The land is good there. The people yeah. are kind. And there's a there. lot of black people there. Black people do great there. It's black Hollywood. It's closer to my family. Down the south. The vibe is great. Food is the great. The food is great. Greens and gravy. They've got all greens and gravy. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. crab ATL. They've got plenty of uh, sports teams. and Falcons, Hawks. Hawks yeah, is trash, I mean, I don't mean going to sports teams anyway, but usually it's... Uh-huh. The bigger, the more sports teams the city has, the more entertainment they have overall. Right. So Atlanta, the comedy got the, scene is fired down. Comedy there. scene is great. The, they got the Falcons. The their soccer team just won the MLS thing. They got the Braves, and they have Hartsfield Jackson Airport, which is the home base of Delta Airlines, Dumb which has the most nonstop flights anywhere in America. They need to cut the check. Atlanta, Georgia. So you okay? So that's is, first off the bat for you. If I move from LA, I would most likely move to Atlanta. Okay, so that's first off the board for you. Yes. First off the board for me, and I could clearly would have thought this would have been for you, L.A. First of all, L.A., Hollywood, Roscoe's that. Chicken and Waffles, Food is Fire, Pink's Hot Dogs. Roscoe's is kind Pink's. of a tourist spot. You don't go to Roscoe's for chicken. I've never been to Pink's Hot Dogs, but a lot Pink's of people go there. Pink's is overrated. No, but this is why. Of all the places that we're talking about, L.A. clearly has the best weather. Best weather. Best weather, no hands doubt. down. I moved here, you know what I'm saying? When I, I love it. It is Hollywood. This is the American dream, the Walk of Fame, the mm-hmm. stars, the Hollywood sign, Disneyland, Crips, Bloods. It's a lot. Everything. It's like a burrito <laughs> of culture. You get a little bit of everything. Ah, okay, it's everything. But Hollywood Boulevard is butt butt mm-hmm. in terms of tourist attractions. I, mean, I used to like touring there. LA, uh, uh, traveling LA more when I didn't live here. There's brackets. Second off the brackets everywhere at night, man. No, but I'm just, uh, I'm just saying, just. When you encompass all of the things, like the nightlife yes. is fire, the music scene is fire. Yes. Like LA would be second these, for me for that so reason. So they're first off the board for me. So who's second off the board for you? LA. 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 For, for all, all the reasons, reasons that you I said, said here, weather being number one, okay. it feels so good okay. when it's winter time and people uh, are putting out how cold it is. And we're like, and you're oh, just, oh, it's 85 degrees, degrees yes. in December. I might you have never to have to la- shovel check. snow. Oh, never. Go to the beach. There might be an earthquake and we fall off the face of the earth. Right. But at least we won't be cold while we're doing mm-hmm. it. Have you yeah. heard that rumor that it's going to break off and then yes. LA will just be its own thing? Yes. It's kind of scary. Okay, cool. And so, there's beaches. Beaches. Although I never go to the... You know what's funny about it? You don't it? have a beach I only body. do the stuff... No, for sure don't. <laughs> I only do the beach stuff when people come visit. Right. People in LA don't really... I only do me. Roscoe's when people come... I only do LA stuff when people come what visit. What I'm saying, Roscoe's is a tourist stop. Yes. You don't go to Roscoe's for the chicken. You don't. You only I would with- I would argue you that the waffles at Roscoe's are better than the waffles in Atlanta. Well, that's uh, that that might be true. Roscoe's waffles are fire. The waffles yes. the and their chicken stays yeah, hot. The Waffle forever. House waffles be trash. I'm, I ain't gonna no, hold they you. Don't. They don't be good. I mean, like it that. is they don't like be trash. They don't be good like that. They do be good. It's like the that. value to call it a, wa- a Waffle House. I would assume it to be better. Yeah, like, but that's neither here nor there. So they're all first for you with Atlanta. Then L.A. second. Mm-hmm. Atlanta would be second off for me for all the reasons that you said. I just love black excellence mm-hmm. out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like black people are there in abundance. You go to Starbucks, the manager be black. That's cool to the me. Manager like, you know be what I'm black. I like that. Um, <laughs> the weather is still can be a little iffy, but it's not it's, terrible. I hate humidity. humidity. Right, right, right. That's the one thing I hate about Humidity Atlanta. is a reminder that you're fat, I And believe. also L.A. and Atlanta. Actually, all these cities have huh. terrible traffic. So that one... Just all across the board. So now LA and Atlanta are off for both of us. 
Yes. So now we're dealing with Chicago and New York. All right. All right. So go ahead. Who's I'm going to tell you. Which one got it? The go? thing that makes them both hard for me mm-hmm. is the weather. Mm-hmm. They both cold. Now, here's my thing. Mm-hmm. In the summer, <gasps> Chicago is a sight to behold. Mm-hmm. It is beautiful. Me and Melissa were on a mini vacation there. We took the boat on the um, on the river. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful. It was warm. Harold's Chicken is there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Great Harold's- Entertainment is there. Capital of the Midwest is there. Mm-hmm. Um, the food is fantastic in Chicago. A lot mm-hmm. of culture. A lot of vibes. It's cleaner than New York. New York is great. I love the bustling. I love the hustling. Uh, I like going to Broadway shows. For bustling? Yeah, man. When you go to word. New York, you, you just. I'm just saying, is that a word? Hustle bustling? And bustle. That's a yes. real thing. But what yeah. does bustle mean? Bustle is the sound it makes when you put your jeans on. Right? <laughs> bustle, bustle, bustle. <laughs> when you go to New York, you just feel like you got to get after it. Uh huh. But it is dirty. New York is? Yes. It is loud. People it feels can be like rude. people are on top of you. People are rude. They're mean. It's just anger. The subway system I like, but also could live without. Mm-hmm. The traffic, Times Square, and the weather sucks for both of them as far as um, cold gum, but they do have Broadway shows there right? and some of the best food there and the whole big city thing. But if I can never go to either of them again, you better not say New York. I'll punch you in your really? Bye now. bye, New York City. You just did that because that dude uh, finagled you for them Knicks tickets back in the day. You never got no, over it. No, because that's the hustle and bust. If you ain't smart enough in New York, you get played. I was a sucker that day. It's part of the game. Okay. So you but lose Chicago, New York. Chicago, as, much as, as much as you're involved in entertainment, you're going to lose know, New York. That's the thing. For Chicago? I like it. You like it. I, I like, like Chicago. It's a great city, man. So you're going to lose the downtown is great. You're going to lose the Big Apple. After about 3 days in New York, you be over get it. me out of here. I almost always end up staying in Times Square. Mm-hmm. 5 a.m. Horn honking, birds talking. Yeah. Just noise. Yeah. It's so loud. How do people sleep there? They're like, and so my homegirl from New York, she's like, it's like birds chirping, taxi cab horns <laughs> honking. Right. Police sirens, yeah. so many sirens. There'll be a lot of sirens. So I, you're losing New York. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. I come off on a different, uh, on a different one for you. Um, now they're both good. Like you know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I think that you know, Chicago just on Harold's Chicken alone can at least make an <laughs> argument. And um, a lot of people credit New York for deep dish pizza, but I've been hearing that's really from Chicago. No, it's deep, really, no, they, they carry Chicago for deep dish pizza. Right. But By the way, say, given those two, I prefer Chicago pizza over New York. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I like both. Uh, oh yeah. Right. But if I could only eat one, like oh, Chicago. This is the thing, one though. slice of deep dish is enough for. A, a I ain't gonna hold you. Who would have to leave? And I would just have to say goodbye. Chicago would have to go. Let me tell you why. New York is a vibe, bro. New York got swag. New York got the Apollo. New York just, you know what I'm saying? You get the Tims, like this identity where it's a certain way you talk. People be like, oh, I know you from New York. Well, they like, say, I know you ain't from there. Right. So, so, you know what I'm saying? Just the way that they move. I mean, Harlem is just the birthplace of hustlers. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? The Bronx, like the boogie down Bronx, mm-hmm. like Brooklyn, like Bodegas. Burrows, street meat, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Different. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then this is the thing. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to New I mean, I know you've been to New York. The way New York lights up at night. I've been there. Is that just, you be like, yo, I've, and they say if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. I, <sighs> I, I thrive for that. That environment, the hustle, like, you got to be the best of the best. Yeah, but JFK sucks. So what? But this and LaGuardia the, sucks. Fly to Newark. Think about the Apollo. What other shows? What other shows have you ever watched on TV where when you don't make it, they boo you off the stage? That's how good you gotta be in New York. I'm dressed like a New Yorkian right now. It's hot out here. I got a whole bubble coat on. That's New York swag and flavor. Only Women look at me different when I got them Tims on. They like New York dudes. So when yeah. I come with that, yeah, shorty, you feel me? You heard? Let me get that. You heard? I ain't gonna hold you. It's New York slang. B is, you is? Yes. B is from New York. Come on, What's B. Up, B? Son, all of that. You're, rethink it for a second. Because if you go go to New York, you can't say, I ain't going to hold you no more. They're, they got a lot of slang. Hip hop started in New York, bro. The birthplace, the boom bap. You going to let it all go? No, no, no. Hip hop. Dog. Music's not talking. A to New this. York Yankee fitted? Come on, bro. Chicago They stayed. gave us hope. Okay, we can't talk about who they gave us. Bro. No, no. You said you're going to keep Chicago over New York? 
Yeah. Over the Big Apple, Statue I of Liberty. I love Chicago. Yes. The pizza in New York. Pizza in Chicago. You can get pizza for a dollar in New York. Chicago oh, skyline, beautiful. Come on, man. I, I'm going to give you a chance to change your mind. I heard you, and I said what I said. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> stays for kevin me kevin that's what you, so you, you standing on that when i stay in chicago for three or four days i don't feel like i want to leave when i'm in new york i i want to go put it like home. this the knicks haven't been relevant in years when we were in new york we couldn't wait to go to a next game that's how that they should beat tell you something corner. i should tell you yankees msg kev <sighs> come on man no we ain't talking about what they put in food to make you fall faster <laughs> we're talking about going to a basketball game my man you're not gonna go you really gonna lose new york the idea, i bet if it was called newport the, you'd keep it <laughs> He was like, oh, I'm definitely there. I, 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 I. The idea of selling out Madison Square Garden. <laughs> that is everybody's stage. dream. That is. What can you sell out of Chicago to make you feel credible? The, the United Center? No. It doesn't have the same ring so to it. So on your trajectory, and I'm going to put this out there, the, the real comedians of social media will eventually end up selling out Madison, Madison? Square Garden. And I can't go? And you can't go? Why? And somebody told you you got to pick one city or the other. You're going to sell out in both places. You're going to pick Chicago. You're going to pick Chicago. Don't, don't play on my ambitions. I'm going to play on your ambitions and your emotions. You're going to give up Madison Square Garden. Of all the places you want to perform, you're going to give up Madison Square Garden. And or if you shoot SG. your next special and they say you can shoot it at the Apollo where Chris Rock shot Never Scared. Are you kidding me, Kevin? Change your mind. I want the truth. Give it up. Give up the ghost. <laughs> The Yankees, the Chicago, Knicks. Chicago, oh, sorry. You know, I didn't think about selling out Madison Square Garden. We got them back. We got them back. Oh, we got got back. You're I right. I didn't think about performances. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You broke me. Goodbye, Chicago. Sorry. Join me. <laughs> I feel dirty. <laughs> but I would love. Come on. I want to perform at Caroline's. Come on. Headlining Caroline's is big for a comedian. Come on, bro. Madison Square Garden. Or just Apollo. to go and see your billboard up in Times Square. Yeah, that's another thing. Come on. You know you. That would just I be a not, sense of I accomplishment. Have not seen. Come on, man. It's okay. You're amongst friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chicago. That has been another riveting episode I'm sorry. of Righteous and Ratchet. And, and they, they didn't even know I was about to do this. I just thought of this thought. This is what I want to do. I know we have a lot of musical producers out there make music and stuff. Somebody make us some theme music and incorporate Righteous and Ratchet <laughs> and Righteous and Ratchet. Send it I would to love that. I am Doughboy TV at Gmail. Gmail. We would love to yeah. see you. Thank you to all of you. We will be back I'm next sorry, Wednesday. Chicago Joe. It's all good. Thank you, everybody. This has been another exciting installment. We did get to talk about it. Bang, everything. bang. Bye bye.